Maxime Bernier says if elected, he would build a fence at the Canadian border to stop asylum seekers from entering the country at irregular crossing points. We cannot be the welfare state of the planet. The head of the People's Party of Canada also says he'd reduce immigration levels to 150,000 people a year. He says Canada can't afford to keep admitting 350,000 immigrants a year because the country must look after its own citizens first. I'm happy to welcome the People's Party of Canada leader himself to the program, Maxime Bernier, joining me from Ottawa today. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's start with the fence idea. It's a pretty big border. Uh, where would you build this fencing and what would it cost? First of all, only where the illegal migrants are crossing our country illegally. So Roxham Road in Quebec, and that's a little fence over there. What I don't want, I don't want our RCMP officers to welcome them. They are illegal mig migrants, and so we must be sure that if they want to come to our country, they have to follow uh, our immigration law, and that's very important for us. I think the correct term is irregular migrants, is it not? They're, they're, they're illegal migrants. They're not crossing at the, at the official point of entry for our country. So they're illegals. And what we want to do, we want to be sure that uh, we'll help the real refugees that needs to be helped in other countries and where their life is in danger. I don't believe that these people who are crossing our border illegally in Quebec, uh, I don't believe that their life is in danger in the state of New York. It, it's not illegal to seek asylum, though, is it? It is illegal to cross our border at another, uh, at not an official point of entry. So that's why we need to be sure that these people who want to cross our border will cross our border where everybody is crossing uh, borders. Uh, I understand in your speech yesterday you also said you would expect immigrants to take a values test. What would that look like? Well, I want people uh, that are coming here that will share our Canadian values. Our Canadian values, as you know, is the base on the Western civilization values, the rule of law, equality between men and, men and women, uh, respect, tolerance. And yes, uh, I want uh, our immigration officers to have a face-to-face -face interview with them. As you said in the beginning, we'll have uh, less than 150,000 a year. I think it's important to have a pause there. 350,000 a year, or like it will be in 2020, it is not sustainable. I don't want our country to be uh, like in Europe, in certain countries, like in UK, in France, in Belgium, where they have uh, huge difficulties to integrate their immigrants. So that's why we must have uh, lower, uh, fewer numbers of immigrants and being sure that these people will integrate our society and be part of our society. To be but part back... of our society, it will be important to do uh, an investigation and, uh, and uh, an interview with them, yes. Right, but back to the values testing in specifics, uh... Um, there's nothing wrong with a face-to-face -face interview. I think people would yeah. expect that. But who determines what are Canadian values and, and what would some of those values be, in your opinion? It's the Western civilization values, like I just said. It's what we share. Freedom, free markets, free speech. Uh, all the, all what that uh, make this country great and, and prosperous. So we want these people to come here and share these values. So yes, during the interview, they will have uh, some questions that uh, they will have to answer and, and we'll see. We want people who are coming here like that, like they did in the past. You know, our immigration system was uh, okay a couple of years ago, but now it's a mass immigration and open borders. And I'm against open borders. I think we must protect our sovereignty and our borders. Uh, you know, immigration is central to Canada's economic prosperity, Mr. Bernier, and population growth Absolutely. as well. So why would you try and limit the amount of eligible workers coming into the country? Because right now, you know, as I said, the 300,000 people that are coming to Canada every year, only 26% of them are economic immigrants and our people are coming here because we need their skills and their background and their competence. Only 26% of them, so 75%, 74% of people who are coming to Canada are refugees or uh, under reunification of family. And you're right saying that we want more economic immigrants Immigrants. That's why we'll have a fewer global number, but at the end we'll have a bigger ratio on econ for economic immigrants. That's what we need. And actually our, our immigration policy must be there to fulfill the economic needs of our country. Yes.
How do you respond to criticism that the Liberals are actually happy you're running on a so-called populist platform because that way you may poach votes that might otherwise go conservative or to some other parties and therefore you will actually be helping the Liberals in the next election? No, what we're doing will uh, being sure that uh, this country will be like that in 25 years and we'll wor we are working for all Canadians and we have support of people coming from different political backgrounds. Uh, yesterday at our rally, I had people who came to me that voted Liberals uh, or their former Conservative and we have people also that didn't vote at the last federal election because they didn't believe in traditional politicians. There's 30% of the population who did not vote at the last election. The participation rate was 70%. So we are a kind of a coalition behind uh, strong ideas and we are the only principal alternative based on individual freedom and, and respect. Uh, you said earlier that you would be able to front a candidate in every riding before the federal election. Where are you on that? 307 candidates right now. We have more candidates than the Green, more candidates than the NDP, more candidates than the Liberals. And we'll have 338 candidates, actually, yes, in every riding in a couple of weeks from now. And, and uh, in the, the 17 and 18 of August, we'll have our first uh, conference, training conference here in Ottawa with our candidates. So we are a real alternative. And people, I think, like the way that we're doing politics. Uh, no more political correctness. And we are speaking about the real issues issues that are important for the future of this country, like immigration. I have to leave it there in the interest of time, Mr. Bernier, but thank you for yours. People's Party of Canada leader yeah. Maxime Bernier with me today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too.